So, young Midoriya, how would you like to train in, in, until, you know, the sports festival? <sighs> I... I don't know. What? I, I have no idea how I want to train for this. Because, for one... For one thing that sucks, that this guy, whoever he is, is after me. And you're going to get... Any footage of him when he one shot at me like that? N n no, there was this weird field around him that caused him all the cameras to not pick him up. It was like he <sighs> wasn't there. Oh, believe me, he was there. Seriously, I got the PTSD to prove it. Uh, <clears throat> well, I can promise you this, that we will find this individual. How? He, if anything, what makes it worse is, Chizar, he is not working alone. Ah, yes, the League of Villains. No, 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 no. He denied being a part of the League of Villains. What? Yeah. I don't know who he really works with, but say to say he is not alone. He explicitly said we. This is what we do, which means Chances are there's more than one person like him who could just shoot a beam of light like that. Hmm. You know, the camera didn't really pick up on that as easy as you would assume. Wait, what? Yes, for some reason it was just like catching him on camera. It was fuzzy and there was static and whatnot. So we're just saying the same energy that, he, that protected him from the cameras is the same energy he used to shoot me with. Yes. You gotta be kidding me! I mean, it's bad enough that this person almost killed me. But it seems like he's stuck me because he almost killed me again after calling me weak and told me to survive that beam to my chest yeah strange actually well uh, what are you talking about well think about it first time he pushed you right y yeah if anything, if he really wanted to kill you, what stopped him from making sure I was dead as soon as I was taken to the hospital? It seems like going from place to place is no real issue for him. Especially if cameras can't identify him, at the very least, need eyewitnesses that are actually paying attention and when because the hospital. Whew, God knows how many people could be in and out of a hospital. And you're right. But if he doesn't want to kill me, then why? He called you weak, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Hmm. But perhaps he's not trying to kill you, but make you stronger? Uh... Yeah, but... Why? The motivations of a villain aren't always so black and white. Perhaps there's something you can do for him. But why would I I don't know. <sighs> Alright. So I'm really going to have to think about this one, huh? 
Hmm, yes. If anything, training may be your only way to actually, hopefully, beat him one day. Hmm. Sis, I just can't imagine that finger thing he shot me with. A finger beam or whatever it's called. I mean, it was some complete and utter bull. He just pointed at me. And as then Izuku shoots a finger beam of his own. Did I just... Oh my... Did you just... Is that what he... Izuku looking at the sand on the beach in which... Yeah? Uh, it's partially glass? That's what he shot me with? Izuku legal so expected is like... No, no. What he shot me with was more mm, concentrated. What do you mean? What I just did was more wide in range, which, though, yes, it is powerful enough to melt the glass, the melt the uh, turn glass and whatnot, whatever. It's still not comparable to what he had, was which was more. Is that comparing, hmm, let's say, a hot dog to a threading needle? Really? Yeah, I mean, his wasn't that thin, but still, that's how mine compares to it. Hmm, that makes no sense. How come... I mean, I just saw him do it once. Hmm. Yes, he did. Interesting. What do you mean? I think of it like this. Your quirk allows you to survive things that would normally kill someone only if you survive it to begin with. Your body has to adapt after being healed, or as it's being healed, to a point where, yeah, what's going to hurt you before, what could hurt you, won't be able to do the same amount of damage. You don't have the complete immunity to it, but it slowly but surely becomes more apparent. Huh. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I'm getting what you're saying. So, for some reason my body decided to adapt from what he shot me with, and that inadvertently made it so I was able to at least use it. Yes and no. If anything, it's more like it introducing your body to that type of stimuli, which is the energy he shot at you. So, what you're saying is this guy is really just training me by putting me near death. Seems like it. But why would he do that? Again, I'm not sure. One thing's for sure, this person, whoever he is, he's taking an interest in you. I don't know what that means for your future, but it certainly means something. It's just weird, though. Why would... There are easier ways to train somebody. I mean, why go through the trouble of going, just nearly killing me? 
Makes no sense. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. If anything, I don't know whether this person is a ally or a foe. Either way, it seems like your growth in power is very, very important to him. Hmm. Yeah. But still, makes no sense to me. <laughs> if anything, it, I just have more questions. And I, more than anything, wish I had those answers. But sadly, <sighs> there's nothing much we can really do. Besides just train you up, get you stronger. Hopefully by the time you do end up fighting this person again, you don't wind up on death's door. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. Uh, oh, I, um, sorry, didn't, uh, do I really? I, uh, <clears throat> if you want, I could... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh. Well, young Midoriya. Uh, if anything, possibly learning about this energy you use could be helpful. Really? Sure. <sighs> okay, yeah, maybe you're right. But, in all honesty, I see no real reason to want to be anything like this guy. Yeah, I understand how you feel. I mean, this person almost killed you, for God's sake. It seems pretty obvious that they, this person cares about you for some reason. We may not know why, but give it time. We'll find him and you'll be able to get your answers. But are they going to be answers? that stay answers or are they just going to open up a whole new can of worms and give me more questions time will tell I don't know you don't know the only one who can really give you any answers is the man who almost killed you twice If anything, let's focus on training, especially when it comes to that energy you just so happen to be able to use now. Hmm. Fascinating. As yes, that's pretty much how Izuku learned how to actually shoot energy from himself. Though, yes, it's weird for him. All they consider is the fact that there might be more to this guy than what he previously thought. I mean, if all might is true about him being trained instead of just, okay, let me kill you. Hmm. Why? What possibly could this person gain? from not just killing Izuku outright. I mean, for the two times they've seen each other, and hell, possibility is there could have been more given the circumstances. Izuku was completely at this guy's mercy. Don't know why he didn't finish him off, but he's grateful he didn't. But, Hmm. 
How often do you let your adversaries live in a life and death situation? Those other villains who had no problem killing kids, why didn't he just finish Izuku off when he had the chance? Even before he enrolled in UA, Izuku was in the hospital, defenseless, cast up to high hell. But Izuku has no real time to worry about that anymore as now it is the sports festival though yes he has considered the fact that okay this guy really seems to care about how strong I've become and he wants me to get stronger very quickly so yeah I think of a way to get as strong as possible hopefully I can corner him beat him down and get my answers yeah this thinking almost gets him last place in the obstacle course race to the point where he runs like the wind to just barely make it to second place. Which, yeah, Shoto, first place. Izuku, second, Bogo, third, and so on and so forth. Because of the cavalry battle, Izuku is still lost in thought, but still gets the same team with Tokoyami, Mei, as well as. Waraka. Bogo wanted to be on his team, but she's pretty much a. Uh, no, no. I uh, would be better if I didn't. I mean, I could have watched over him, but. A Shoto. She does. Want to beat Izuku? But it's not as like the whole your quirk is so similar to All Might per se. It's maybe because All Might is training you. Which Izuku has, let it be known. Like, yeah, All Might's training me. And she's a great hero and everything. So, yes. Cheryl does see kind of like yeah I want to beat you but I also uh, hmm. worry about that later as Endeavor she's looking at Izuku utilize his quirk and she's interested she's wondering okay so how strong is this Izuku Midoriya this boy with a quirk as May, she's pretty much the only reason why she really teamed up with Izuku's main for the spotlight. I mean, he's the he's one of the few men who enrolled to UA. Well, he's got hell. He got accepted. <laughs> Not to mention the only really recorded male to have a quirk. So yeah, she is definitely gonna be basking in the limelight with. Izuku, especially to show off her inventions, in which Izuku is very interested. Though, yes, he sees the value in using his own power to get where he is, it's also the fact that he's also kind of envious and very intrigued by May's inventions. Especially the rocket boots, the jetpack. He's always imagined being able to fly. It was though, yeah, Rocka is trying to get his attention more and is hella jealous of May just unintentionally getting Izuku's attention. <laughs> so, uh, they're just geeking out over quirk gear and whatever nothing to worry about when the fighting actually starts at least the cavalry battle Togiyami 
does feel a bit weird having Izuku on top. But as long as our show is a good barrier, she's not as, oh my god, I can't believe it. I have a guy on top of me type thing. So luckily, that embarrassment is not seen. When it comes to the whole gathering of points, people are trying to get Izuku's team eliminated right off the bat. Because, for one, he's a boy with a quirk. He's enrolled in UA Class 1A. Tells me the top little class. So, yeah, people are a little bit salty. So, Izuku knows his people going after him specifically. Though, yes, he feels targeted. He, he understands completely and totally why. But it's only when Bakugo and Toroki come after him where he really feels the pressure. As, yes, they break May's support gear. Izuku and the rest of them, they are losing mobility potential to a point where as soon as Izuku does realize what's going on, Something snaps in it. And before he knows it, they're on the other side of the arena. He's looking back and he sees a trail. Just a large indention in the landscape from where they were to where they are now. He shouts his way, May, what did you do? May is silent as she's like, You're flying! Huh? As then Izuku notices this green ish light emanating from him. Wait, 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 what's going on here? Is. Uh, do you hear me? You're flying! I am? Him seeing the, yeah, the jetpack and the boost, those, those things are broken. But, Toki, I mean, are you sure you're not? I'm not doing this. You are. Uh, you're serious? Uh, uh, how? Don't ask me. You're the one who's doing this crap. I, I, I didn't, I, no, I, you, as they, yeah, they fall, <laughs> he's equal his concentration and they just fall, but luckily they did swipe a lot of points thanks to Tokiyami, and yeah, they're in second place, especially since no one can get Shoto's headband, ugh. <sighs> Everyone is shocked at this. All Might specifically is like, how? How is he? Huh. That's crazy. Very interesting. Seems like he's evolving quicker than we anticipated. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, Izuku Midoriya. He's starting to really realize his potential. Good work. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Look at what you've accomplished. All I gotta do is meet him twice and look how far he's gotten. <sighs> I still think there was an easier way to do this. Mmm, maybe, but when I mean, your life's in danger, <laughs> the results are undeniable. 
<sighs> Just imagine the possibilities here. Maybe, uh, I wonder how much further you need to push him to truly awaken him. What? Oh, don't. Come on. You heard me. I mean, this is obviously just the beginning of what he's capable of. <sighs> yeah. I mean, if anything, I can see him really wanting to meet you. Yeah, I wonder why. First you told me to push him off a roof, knowing he couldn't fly. Necessary. He could have died, but he didn't. Then, the next time we meet, what do you have me do? Shoot him. I don't see what the big deal is. Just a boy. Oh, be grateful. I mean that. Be very grateful. Because compared to how it used to be, <laughs> what you did to him, but you made me do, but you didn't have to say yes or agree to it. And I will just find someone else to do it. But yeah, that's how I say if I was really interrupted. Compared to what we used to go through to awaken our power, to reach our potential. <laughs> this kid's training is a cakewalk. <sighs> how can you call dying? Almost dying. Whatever. How can you call that a cakewalk? He's just a child. Yeah. Five high hopes for him. <laughs> you can't just do this to a kid. Well, I already have. Besides, like you. You know, if you didn't do it, I could have always said someone less gentle. But I just want to give you a chance to see, see him. <sighs> Whatever. Just. <sighs> This let this be over. Maybe. I really need to know how far he can go here. What? I mean, yeah. He's unlocked one of the base abilities. But I haven't seen him do much else worth noting. Maybe I should put someone on him to gather better surveillance than just this. <sighs> I would rather you didn't. Oh, come on. Just because your family does not mean don't. Whatever. Either way, he is going to help us whether he likes it or not. It's for the good of everyone, anyway, so if anything, he wants to be a hero, we're going to give him a chance to be a hero. Yeah, a hero for us, a villain to everyone else. <laughs> well, you know what they say. <sighs> Don't worry.
Argo spoils. History is written by the winners. So, which one do you want to be? That's what I thought. As now we get to the actual fights in which Izuku vs. Senso does show up. Only thing is, Izuku's trying his best not to talk to Shinso. And when I say that, I mean he's trying his best to keep his mouth shut. Despite all the trash, Shinso is talking. Every word she says is like a knife being twisted. Then he starts talking shit about Bakugo. And Izuku loses it and yells. Not knowing that, gotcha. Now you're in my control. Go ahead and walk yourself out of the ring. Huh, another easy win. Thank you very much. As yes, Izuku starts walking. Only thing is, something in him is stopping him. From truly, and I do mean truly, walking out. As soon as he snaps out of it, he's right on the edge as he trips. Everyone thinks he lost, but then they get a closer look in which he is an inch from hitting the grass. In the ground and being a ring out as he's like oh thank god I learned how to fly in which he's kind of more or less it's kind of like being in zero gravity for the first time it's it's a process for him as in Shinzo she's looking at it like how in the hell now what's that say you said about uh, my best friend. Uh, uh, <coughs> I mean, it's just as then the fuckery begins. She's always trying to by control him, but it's starting to become less and less effective. As then this. Green haze starts to wash over Izuku as he doesn't point his finger at Shinso. He raises his hand, says, Ring out. What? And yes, a puff of air, a huge gust of wind shoots straight for Shinso, and she is not riling. And crashes into the stands. Ring out, technically, but still, it's one hell of a display in power. <laughs> well, look at that. He is one of us. Uh, how? <laughs> well, I'm actually very intrigued now. Even more potential than I anticipated. <sighs> oh, come on. You should look proud. Why are you sulking? I just... <clears throat> if you have any complaints about how we do things, you can always voice your opinions. Yeah, and get a knife in my back. True. But, at least then you'll be heard. For as short of a time that'll be. Yeah. So, depending on how farther he goes with this, I might require you to 
give him the push he requires. Really. Yeah. But right now, I won't be needing you to do anything. Not yet. Okay. Hmm. What I need you to do is to keep up appearances so far. So right now, go back to America and get some of those uh, good old office hours. Understood. Good boy. What is it? I think you're being too soft on him. Do you? Uh, if anything, it's just because I care so much about you guys. <laughs> you don't care anything about us. All you need to care about is your goals. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with having ambitions? Come on. Your ambitions will get us in trouble. Though, yes, I agree with certain goals in mind. The way you're doing it seems to be wildly inefficient. Hmm. Really? How so? What makes you think Izuku Midoriya? What? Nothing. Carry on. What makes you think he'll actually join us? <sighs> Easy. All we need to do is, for like a bad word, point him to our enemy. What enemy? Exactly. Should be easy enough. Just give it time. We've waited long enough. How much time is truly required? Patience. Besides, <sighs> sooner or later. He's definitely gonna want to meet us. I want you on your best behavior. I don't want anything to do with him. You say that. But we'll see. Just let me be clear. I will kill him. Give him a chance. Well, that is why I keep you around, isn't it? <laughs> right. At least someone knows their place around here. My good old attack dog. Whatever. Sometimes it's just so hard to find good help. Next is the Shoto versus Goku fight, in which Shoto is not taking any chances. When it comes to fighting Izuku. One, he can fly. Two, he somehow, in the middle of a fight, broke himself out of mind control. And once it was trying on him again, he developed uh, immunity towards it. At least a resistance. So, yeah. Shiro's like, I am not, will be not, gonna allow 
into the debt. Shit, I have to, I really do mean I have to finish this quickly. I cannot risk him <laughs> dragging this fight on for longer because the longer the fight goes, the more likely he's going to get stronger. But that's a problem. Izuku has done temperature training, so to speak. I'm talking about ice baths and saunas. He's against the bad judgment of his family and as well as doctor and friends. He has got himself into pretty cold situations as well as scalding hot. So, eh, he has a bit of a resistance to cold and hot temperatures. Shoto doesn't know this, but realizing that this guy is more nimble than I anticipated previously, she has no choice but to really freeze the whole arena. Once Izuku is trapped, She's just like, finally. Just to be safe, yeah, she only coded him to his neck. So at least he can breathe and talk and like, say, I forfeit, but... Then he just starts laughing. <laughs> like, what's so funny? <laughs> uh, this was a cute attempt to trap me and get me to forfeit, but it's not going to work. What? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a good attempt. But, as if you start moving, as then this green haze starts to envelop him again, then she realizes the glacier she just made is starting to crack and crumble as a rumbling starts to come on to the whole arena. Everyone's looking around like, wait, is this an earthquake or something? And then Izuku bursts out of the glacier. And Shoto appears in utter shock. Next thing she sees is Izuku right next to her, face to face with a smile saying, thank you for the fight. As he throws a punch, Sho snaps in back into her senses and dodges narrowly, seeing a huge ass crater of ten sheets of concrete caused by one cementos. If she would have got hit by that, she would have been unconscious terribly. Her looking at Izuku. And all she sees is that his eyes are full of life. A smile on his face can be seen from here to space. She's wondering, what are you? <laughs> I'm your opponent for today. <laughs> As, yeah, she gets distance. But Izuku is right on top of her. So... She has no choice but to use her fire. She is unleashing turrets among turrets of fire just in hopes to at least get Izuku to back off. Only thing is, he's just knocking them back. Like shots in St. Patrick, Patrick's Day, so... Eh. She's getting more and more desperate for a possible attack to take him down. Which causes her to start fusing her ice and fire. She's starting to control the temperature, making the ice colder, the fire hotter. Izuku's looking at this in utter amazement. Which, wow, what's that gonna do? She was pissed. To the fact that you made me use my fire side. Really? Hmm, cool. So you're done holding back. 
Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Everyone's shocked to see this. Like, what the hell? Is this the same kid? Why does he seem so happy all of a sudden about that attack? Could be devastating. As Shoto, this is your only chance. Stand down. Or Izuku just has his hands in his pockets and walks up to Shoto calmly, looking down at her. As a, or what? <laughs> her? Saying fuck it and hitting Izuku point blank range in the chest. The explosion. Yeah. Samantha's so needs to definitely create some concrete barriers with that one. When it comes to the aftermath. Yeah. Sadly, Shoto is unconscious. Izuku is holding her in his arms while up in the air pretty much seeing that the whole arena is destroyed was uh, uh, how and she's like what the hell was that impressed by the power but also shocked at the fact that how are you still standing? Izuku just looking up and throwing Torogi over his shoulder. Doing the peace sign, that, or at least the victory sign. Like, yay, I win! So, like, I need to fix that. I need to fix everything, so. <sighs> You should get healed up. And, you know, just. How? Yeah. Hmm? What happened? Did I. No. Mom? You lost. I. I... What? You heard me. You lost. <sighs> no, 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 no. That's a... I made up that attack on the fly. And it was... And they were just showing her the footage of her whole attack. And showing that Izuku, though he was banged up pretty damn good, it was not enough. In fact, Cheryl being the one that ended up being unconscious definitely shocks her. So it's like, what the hell? Are you kidding me? What the hell is he? I don't know. But one thing's for certain, you made him stronger. What? I know about this boy and his quirk. So, Jezar, he's gained uh, a bit of a healing factor. As well as a shield, as it seems. Not strong, not that strong. But considering that it shielded him from most of your attack, strong enough. I can't believe, even after finally using my fire, uh, what, what mom, you, you said your fire, yeah so what, you haven't called it your fire since Wow, interesting. <sighs> Damn it. 
Yusuke Midoriya. As now, Izuku is watching the fight between Oraka and Bakugo, in which, yeah, it's actually a lot closer than it was in canon, considering Oraka has been spending more time with Izuku and Bakugo being humble as well as, you know, not training nearly as much as she would in canon. Yeah. It's a bit closer. Though Bago still wins, Oraka put up one hell of a fight. More to, compared to Cannon. So, that was her loss. She made Bago work for it. When it comes to Izuku versus Ida, I forfeit. What? <laughs> Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm fighting you. Uh, why? I am not stupid. I, I, but the fight? Oh, you cannot do that. Uh, what are you saying? You, you cannot just. Woo. Come on, man. I. Ah, come on, why are you? You seem very excited to be up a woman. No, I'm very excited to be down a potential hero. Uh, what? Yes, we're all striving to be heroes, so I want to run these. Come on, I want my fade right now. I want someone here. To catch these hands right now. Uh, since when are you such a what? You seem to really like fighting all of a sudden. Uh, huh. I never really. Really? Yes! I just want for you, and you are pissed at me for trying to quit and keep my life intact. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I, everyone just looking in utter amazement, like, are you serious? Did he not notice his, uh, but can I at least use one of my new attacks? What do you mean? Yeah, there was this thing I wanted to try. Um, as everyone's like, wait, what? What new attack? There's something else we could, you could use? It smells like fine, but you can't fire it in the ring. Okay. What if I just aimed it towards the sky, then it detonated? Huh. Very well. As then Izuku clasps his hands together. As soon as he st starts to separate them, this spear starts to appear from his hands. Sho looking at this is like, You got to be kidding me! As the whole crowd looks in utter awe and amazement, and also kind of fear, Zuku almost creates perfectly the same attack Shoto used as a last resort to get him. As then, Izuku breaks it. Again, they're wondering, wait, what is he doing? Him lifting his hand as a huge beam of energy just shoots from Palma's hand straight into the sky, breaking, busting clouds, we'll say. And this beam went from the size of a, say, baseball, 
to as soon as he crushed it and opened his hand, it was more like him having a cannon strapped to his hand. So, yeah, that happened. And Ida is like, you were going to use that on me? No. Bullshit. Okay, okay, I was going to weaken it a little. That would have killed me. Oh, come on. Nah, nah, it wouldn't have killed you. You would have been hurt. No doubt, but it wouldn't have killed you, duh. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, so what's this was over? What? We are not letting you use power like that against any more contestants. Uh, but come on, we you win. But I, you win. Take the W. No, but I... Listen, kid, let, let, let me explain to you. Do you know how much concrete, cement, let's say, you would destroy with such an attack? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know the full power of it. I mean... It's similar to Ayama. <laughs> no, it ain't. Did your stomach hurt when you use it? No. Can you do that again? Well, yeah, right now, actually. As he starts to close his hands, I like, don't do it again. But you... I know what I said. <sighs> you are... You win. Just take the W and the sports festival is over. Zuko gets his first place medal, then Bago gets it, and so on and so forth. Bago is shocked and kind of upset that she didn't get to fight him. Though she's also relieved, like, uh, I'm happy I didn't fight him because. I could have hurt him, but I definitely didn't have had that fight him because he sure as hell could have hurt me. <laughs> well, look at that. Hmm. I could do better. Oh, yes, I know you could, but hmm, from where I stand, he has so much more potential than you do. Just imagine when he gets to your age. Nonsense. You say that, but I know you're worried. No need. You'll still be my favorite. <sighs> Whatever. Hmm. Easy, Midoriya. I can't wait to claim you as mine. Uh, uh, uh. Calm down, Tomura. Uh. <coughs> Calm down. Did you not just see? Uh. No. No, I did not just see. Please, explain to me. What did I miss? What could I... Do, do I need to pe keep my eyes peeled or something? It's like, I'm sorry. It's just that I know. But like I said, don't fret about it. That'll just cause you to be sloppy. And last, the last thing we need right now. We need you to be sharp for when... No, don't worry about it. Seems as though there's more to Izuku Midoriya than what I previously thought. Interesting. Huh. 
Oh well. We'll see if he proves to be a bigger nuisance in the future.